where in your book would you like to go next? Because you've, you've left our listeners hanging. They can't get this book. There's a book, there's a, basically a baker's dozen. So the only way that they're going to get access to information is, is likely through this broadcast, Twitter spaces, sure. fellows and news.com. Sure. Cause I tend to have the book out and reference the book a lot. <laughs> so those that are listening going, okay, what on earth is going on in the book? Um, where do you want us to go? Let's, let's, give listeners some some important information some secrets from the inside i got i've got an idea um publishing that book as you know i pulled together some world-class writers and editors i didn't do it i didn't throw something together and uh, there's a gentleman in the book uh who i mentioned his name's walker roberts Walker Roberts was a brilliant, brilliant editor at the time for Florida Trend Magazine. And he was a literally a, a, kind of a New York quality editor. And uh, he, when he read the manuscript for this little book you have in front of you, the red one, uh, he had said, uh, Mr. Meekin, this is a valid document, meaning it's a good piece, which is just from an editor, was an amazing, that's a valid document, number two. Of your hundred, and I'm going off of memory, 129 pages, he said the, the, the thing that the readers will most connect with is your car sales lingo dictionary. That's what that editor said. He said, you said in more, more than about three, eight, three and a half pages or whatever than any book that's ever been written about the auto industry. That's what an editor said to me. So I said, okay, so if you want to start somewhere, maybe that's where you start, Val. <laughs> I've never had more okay. fun uh, talking. Well, I don't talk about this stuff. I've never had more fun. I haven't talked about this stuff in 20 years. So in the back